Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome, guys. Today we have some notes about long division. First, I'd like to talk about remainders. An example if we have 12 divided by 3, as you can see here, we can form groups each three apples 1, 2, 3. 13 divided by 3 how many group 1 2 3 4 and this one is a remainder so we can say 13 divided by 3 equals 4 and remainder 1 next we have 14 divided by 3 1 2 3 4 and here we have 2 as a remainder. So we have 4, remainder 2. 15 divided by 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. But here we have 3 more apples. So we cannot say that the remainder is 3. We have here 5 groups and remainder 0. So notice that the remainder must be less than the divisor like here we have divisor 3 the remainder could be 0 1 or 2 only we cannot put remainder 3 and also this relation dividend equal divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder let us apply this 12 equals 3 times 4 was 0 at first one 13 equals 3 times 4 which is 12 plus 1 14 equals 3 times 4 plus 2 15 equals 3 times 5 so now dividend equal divisor multiplied quotient then you add the remainder the remainder can be 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, till the divisor minus 1. Next, we have a division. Find the quotient. If I ask you to find the quotient, it means the operation is a division. As we said before, in math, we have four operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Addition and subtraction and multiplication we start from right to left but only division we start to divide from left to right it means if we have ones tens and hundreds we start from hundreds if we have thousands we start from thousands and so on first example we have 82 divided by 5 starting from left we will start from 8. 8 divided 5, it means how many 5s are there in 8? Of course, we have just one 5, because 2 5s equals 10. But here, we have only 8. So we can say that we have one 5. So, one 5, and after 5, we have 6, 7, 8. So we have 3 as a remainder, we can write it here. Now we have 32 divided by 5. 32 divided by 5. It means how many 5s are there in 32? Of course, we have 6. Because 6 times 5 equals 30. Now after 30, we have 31, 32. So we have remainder 2. Second one, 7 divided by 3. It means how many threes are there in seven? Of course, we have two. But two times three equals six. So we have one as a remainder. We can put it here. Now we have 18 divided three. Of course, 18 divided three equals six. And remainder zero. Now eight divided by three. How many threes are there in eight? Of course, we have 2. 
2 times 3 equals 6. So after 6, we have 7 and 8. So we have 2 as a remainder. We can write 2 here, small 2. Now we have 26 divided by 3. It means how many 3 are there in 26? We have 3 times 7 equals 21. 3 times 8 equals 24. And 3 times 9 equals 27. Of course, the reasonable one, 3 times 8 equal 24 so we have eight threes inside will fit into 26 so now three times eight equal 24 after 24 we have 25 26 we have remainder two the last one four divided by eight notice here four less than eight so of course no 8 inside 4 no 8 fit into 4 so what shall we do we have to put 0 and take the next digit because actually 4 has no 8 so we have 0 8 so now we can say 41 divided by 8 how many 8's are there in 41 of course we have 5 eights. but 5 times 8 equal 40 so we have 1 as a remainder we can put it here now we have 17 divided by 8 actually we have 2 eights inside 17 because 2 times 8 equals 16 so now we have remainder 1 now we have longer division longer division has steps that we have to follow these steps are the same like a family. First step here that is division. D D. Second mom multiplication. Third sister subtraction. Then brother bring it down. Then at last we have to repeat all these steps if we need. Let us apply these steps. First, division, multiplication, subtraction, and bring it down. Then repeat if we need. Let us apply. But before applying these steps, I'd like to memorize you that when we put the sign of longer division, this sign, we have here in this place, what? Yes, dividend. And we have divisor here. And quotient will appear, will appear up and down, we have remainder. And also we can write R and write a remainder here again, okay? And these we have some steps. Let us see how can we apply these steps on long division. As you can see here on right, you have the steps of long division. We have an example, 6. 1,599 divided by 7 starting from left to right 6 divided by 7 6 less than 7 so no 7 fit into 6 so we can say it's 0 and take the next digit now 65 divided by 7 how many 7s are there in 65? of course we know that 7 times 9 equals 63 so we can say that we have nine sevens. This first step is to divide. So now we divide it. 67 divided by 65 divided by 7. We said 65 divided by 7 equals 9. Now second step is to multiply. But multiply what by what? Multiply this 9 you wrote by the 7. 9 times 7 equals, yes, 63 so where can I put it of course you can put it down here 63 third step is to subtract we would subtract here 65 minus 63 5 minus 3 equals 2 and 6 minus 6 equals 0 have we finished no still we have another step which is bring down but bring down what? Bring down next digit, which is 9. Here, 9 down, 
now we have 29 so we have to repeat steps again division 29 divided by 7 29 divided 7 it means how many 7 are there in 29 of course we have 4 4 times 7 equals 28 write it down then we have to subtract 29 minus 28 equals 1 now bring it down next digit which is 9 repeat all your steps starting from division 19 divided 7 19 divided 7 equals 2 because 2 times 7 equals 14 now subtract 19 minus 14 equals 5 so we finish the example so what shall we do the answer would be 942 remainder 5 because what because we don't have more digits here to bring it down next find the quotient 82 divided by 5 let us see how to apply steps of long division we have dad mom sister brother then repeat first step is to divide 8 divided by 5 excellent equal 1 then multiply 1 times 5 equals 5 subtract 8 minus 5 equals 3 then bring it down next digit which is 2 now 32 we have to repeat 32 divide 5 32 divide 5 equals yes 6 6 times 5 equals 30 subtract equals 2 here we don't have more digits to bring it down so we finish so we have remainder 2 it's 16 are 2 next one we have here dad mom sister brother then repeat 7 divided by 3 equals 2 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6 subtract 7 minus 6 equals 1 bring it down next digit which is 8 now repeat your steps 18 divided by 3 equals 6 6 times 3 equals 18 subtract equals 0 bring it down there is no digit to bring it down so the answer is 26 remainder 0 the next one dad mom sister brother then repeat 8 divided by 3 equals 2 2 times 3 equals 6 subtract now 8 minus 6 equals 2 bring it down next digit which is 6 now we repeat 26 divided by 3 equals 8 8 times 3 equals 24 subtract equals 2 we don't have more digits so remainder 2 4 divided by 8 0 0 times 8 is 0 subtract equals 4 bring it down next digit which is 1 now 41 divided by 8 equals 5 5 times is 8 equals 40 subtract equals 1 bring it down 7 now 17 divided 8 equals 2 2 times is 8 equals 16 subtract equals 1 no more digits to bring it down so the answer is 52 remainder 1 now what about if we don't know timetable well do we have another way of course yes we have another way but this way take care if you add any number for wrong all your problem would be wrong if you have any mistake all the problem you would lose all the problem if you have any mistake if you have any mistake you would lose all the problem 
okay as you can see here we have this table we starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and here you can write this starting from 0 by addition every time you can add 7 which is a divisor or you can multiply each number here by this divisor for example 0 times 7 equals 0 1 times 7 equals 7 2 times 7 equals 14 3 times 7 equals 21 4 times 7 equals 28 and so on or you can add 7 every time 0 plus 7 is 7 7 plus 7 is 14 14 plus 7 is 21 21 plus 7 is 28 and so on this is as you like it's up to you now we have 8 times 7 equals 56 and 9 times 7 equals 63 starting from here 6 6 divided 7 where is 6 here 6 is between 0 and 7 this column all numbers goes up and this column all numbers goes down if 6 here it means we will take the 0 or we'll take 7 of course we'll take 0 because we have only 6 so we cannot take 7 we cannot take more we can't take less so now put this 0 up and this 0 down now 6 minus 0 equals 6 bring it down next digit which is 5 now 65 where is 65 here of course it's just after 63 so we would put 9 up and 63 down subtract equals 2 and bring it down next digit which is 9 now we have 29 where is 29 of course it's here after 28 so we we'll would 4 up and 28 down now we have 29 minus 28 equals 1 and bring it down 9 now 19 where is 19 here 19 is here so put 2 up and 14 down so we have here 5 so no more digits to bring it down so the remainder is 5 and there's another way to solve long division without division thanks for listening and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah